This is Pet Life Radio. Let's talk pets. Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Groomer Humor on Pet Life Radio. As always, we're your hosts, I'm Rudy V, along with my son, Anthony Ray. Once again, we want to thank our producer, Mark Winter, and Pet Life Radio for giving us the opportunity. And we want to thank you guys for always listening in and making the podcast what it is today. Guys, in this episode, we're going to be talking about the massive explosion of pet owners grooming their dogs at home as we predicted how YouTube is helping, in particular, our YouTube channel. And we also have some really exciting news with collaborating with Amy Lee from YouTube's Go Groomer and Jessica Adorno from HBO Max's Hot Dog and Paparazzi Pets on Instagram. We got that coming up and much, much more in this episode of Groomer Humor. Take a bite out of your competition. Advertise your business with an ad in Pet Life Radio podcasts and radio shows. There is no other pet-related media that is as large and reaches more pet parents and pet lovers than Pet Life Radio. With over 7 million monthly listeners, Pet Life Radio podcasts are available on all major podcast platforms. And our live radio stream goes out to over 250 million subscribers on iHeartRadio, Odyssey, TuneIn, Stitcher, and other streaming apps. For more information on how you can advertise on the number one pet podcast and radio network, visit PetLifeRadio.com slash advertise today. Let's Talk Pets on PetLifeRadio.com. Welcome back to Groomer Humor on Pet Life Radio. Once again, we're your hosts. I'm Rudy V, along with Anthony Ray. Guys, we're so excited about this episode because uh, we're really going to be talking about how people are really grooming their dogs at home. It's so important, guys. We just read an article recently. Don't quote me on it. I can't remember exactly what it was. It sounded like something like 35% of pet owners have increased grooming their pets at home since the pandemic. So again, guys, that's a lot of people considering you know how many people there are in the United States or even the world. The fact is people are grooming their dogs at home and uh, YouTube is a great help. And in particular, our grooming channel, you know, Grooming by Rudy on YouTube. We're helping people out every single day and we love doing what we're doing. Yeah. And we've been really trying to hit the ground running lately by trying our best to post weekly. I think we've only missed about three or four weeks in the past, like five or six months. So that's been going really well. We've gotten a lot of great feedback about it people really do seem to enjoy like some of the shorter videos we've been putting out that are like just focused on one thing a lot of youtube creators they have you know especially when it comes to grooming there's like a lot of hour long videos or 40 minute long videos and sometimes those are really good because they're in depth but we've been sort of trying to condense things into like really short focused videos that are you know five six minutes and it, it i mean seems to be well received Yeah. And with your great camera work, you know, I mean, nothing for nothing, but we have some really, really great shots, like good close-ups. So we can really show you exactly what we're doing. You know, that's one of the things that you're going to get on our channel. Some great great close-up. Oh, oh, Anthony gets in there. Oh yeah. I get in there. I'll take one for the team. Even if, uh, you know, if I'm trying to film you underneath the dog, I'll take a schlong to the face if I have to. I don't care. It's for the channel, man. You got to do it. You got to do it for the channel. (laughs) Sorry, guys, I broke my dad. <laughs> He's <laughs> laughing. <laughs> See, this is how you know, you know, we're, we're completely unscripted. <laughs> <laughs> Anthony's taking dog schlong to the face on any particular yeah, day. Yeah. So, hey, listen, it's the joys of dog grooming. What can we say? Yeah. You know? I mean, it, kind of, it comes with the territory. One definitely brushed across my cheek once. Oh, yeah, um, exactly. You got to get that shot. You got to get that shot of that inner shot. You got to get the inner leg. You know, you got to get in there. 
dude, it's the difference between a video that gets 50 views or, or a thousand views. It's, it's, you know, <laughs> exactly whatever. So it touched me. <laughs> so what, you know, it's dog. He's cute. It's typical cameraman work. I mean, this is what ha- This is what has to yeah. happen. You know, exactly. We go where others dare not venture. <laughs> <laughs> if that means the nether regions of a dog of a dog that's what we have to show that's what i'm getting at. yeah that's what we're filming exactly so again you can look forward to checking us out on youtube just go to grooming by rudy on youtube if you guys want to see some awesome videos go to go groomer amy lee another great great youtuber who just is really really taking the time to show the average pet owner exactly what we do you know what you're going to get with amy lee a lot is is product review amy is amazing at talking about products if you want to learn about products she's your girl you know go to go groomer on youtube and uh, check out amy's videos Uh, but again just the fact of the matter is more and more people are grooming at home which as like i said as we predicted we knew this would happen and then the big question comes up everybody always asks us is well how is that affecting your business it's affecting our business fantastic is how it's affecting our business because a couple of things are happening here guys in most cases people can't groom as well as we do because we are professionals and not to put anybody down okay but what's happening is the dogs are coming in in much much better condition as opposed to people not grooming their dogs at home or brushing out in between groomings. And also there is just a dog boom happening. There is more than enough dogs to groom. So groomers are very, very busy. And again, it's not affecting our business at all. If anything, it's making our business better and it's drawing more awareness to what we do. It's making our business better and it's making our YouTube business better and our podcast that we're talking to you on right now. Everything is just better. So again, there's really no downside to what's happening right now as far as even a monetary state. Groomers are doing well and God bless. I think every groomer out there, especially you guys who have been listening to us and you groomers that listen to us, this is what we've been like, you know, aiming for where, you know, groomers are finally able to, you know, support a livelihood and have, have some kind of a lifestyle as opposed to, oh my God, dog groomers are poor. We're not poor. Yeah. And to your point too, um, the amount of pets owned that need groomings will always, always outweigh the amount of groomers that are available. So even yeah. if everybody at home who attempted a full grooming on their dog did it so well that they never needed a groomer again, there would still be more than enough people who can't do that, who need professional groomers. So it's never, I don't ever see it affecting our business to the point where, oh, now we're starving because (laughs) because nobody's bringing their dog to a groomer. It just doesn't work that way. Yeah. You know what? It's kind of like, I don't know if you had to do a comparison. Okay. Let's say uh, you needed a plumber. You know, okay, so you might be able to do some a little bit of plumbing work, you know, under your kitchen sink. Maybe you have to, you know, change something under your kitchen sink and you go to Home Depot and you get it and, you know, you don't have to call in a plumber, you know, but you're not able to snake your drain or something like that. That's what it is. Or even working on your car. You know, you might be able to do something. You might be able to change your oil where you don't need some major mechanic changing your your carburetor or your fuel injectors. That's the comparison. You got people who are doing some stuff, but they still need you for the major stuff, if that makes sense. Yeah, exactly. It's too in-depth. Yeah. I could floss and brush my teeth every day, it's six times a day, but you know, I still have to go to the dentist. Which you don't floss your teeth ever, and you do need to go to the well, dentist. That's, you know, so that's not a good comparison. Because have you seen well, your teeth I'm lately? I'm saying for, for well, for normal people, for normal people who take care of their teeth and themselves, they still have to go to the dentist. Yes, and themselves yeah. hygiene and yeah, yeah. We're about to meet a bunch of people at Intergroom, and you know, don't you got to lay off the I stink stuff? Well, here's I hope you shower before we go to Intergroom. That's that's going to be an important day. When is that happening anyway? I think it's that's we're gonna happening be there, on April 2nd. We're going to be there April 2nd. So uh, as we mentioned uh, up front too, we're going to be collaborating with Amy Lee 
from YouTube's Go Groomer and uh, Jessica Adorno from uh, Paparazzi Pets. Uh, you could check her out on Instagram. She's awesome. We have a lot of exciting things. We're going to be doing a meet and greet. So if you guys want to see us, head on down to the Metal on, Met, the Metal Lawns. Head on down to the Metal <laughs> Lands Expo Center, uh, Saturday, April second. We're going to be there along with Amy. And, uh, you know, along with Jessica. So it's going to be a lot of fun, guys. Way to make us sound like, you know, cool. We're going down to the metal lawns. <laughs> yeah. E- <laughs> everybody <laughs> else who's important, they go to metal lands, but we're going to the metal lawns. Yeah. Well, here's the thing. There's truth to that because we haven't gotten our press passes yet. So we may be outside <laughs> on the metal lawn. We got lawn seats. We, we got lawn seats. <laughs> Right. Oh, so yeah, we're not allowed in. <laughs> we're not allowed we, in anymore. We're gonna be. Yep, we're gonna be doing our meet and greet guys live from the parking lot, row B. Row B. <laughs> Look for the two thousand one <laughs> Audi A four. That's my car. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I don't have one, so I'll be riding with my dad. <laughs> It's all true. Anthony doesn't <laughs> have a car true. right now. <laughs> right, right. I have oh. no car. Kid at home. <laughs> you know. You've been up since five o'clock yep. this morning. <laughs> yep. My cats are pissed at me for bringing another human being into their home. So they're chewing up everything I own. It's just, you know, but no pliers. Th- like, right. But what a weird time to be alive. All of that going on. But I get to go meet fans. Huh. That just doesn't <laughs> seem. How do you not have a car? And and you you're get, gonna go you meet fans, anyone. though. Yeah, yeah. I'm How do you meet anyone meet without a car? Yeah, right. <laughs> Anthony's yeah, gonna be showing popular. up on. You're gonna be showing up on an electric bike. Yeah, right. Yeah, I'll be on the turnpike, getting heading to the metal lawns. <laughs> <laughs> We're really excited about it, though. We can't wait, you know. And uh, the other thing is, too, it's a great show. You know, it's intergroom, so it's like the big event for groomers. So if you are a groomer, head on out there. You'll see some amazing groomers. You'll be able to talk to a lot of people who do the same thing you do. So everybody uh, really looks forward to intergroom, and uh, it's right here oh, in yeah. Jersey, guys. It's in Jersey. Yeah. So if you are in Jersey, come down and hang out with us. We want to yes. meet all of you guys. The last time we've been to an expo was right before the pandemic and we were we were there to film a lot. So any of you guys who did come down to see us that last time was a couple of years ago now, we didn't really have a chance to talk to many of you, but this time we're going to with the express purpose of meeting all of you and hanging out with our fans and Amy's fans and Jess's fans. And it's going to be a lot of fun. We usually go in planning on covering this and covering that and interviewing this one, interviewing that one. This time we're going to hang out with you guys. We want to meet all of you guys. So definitely, you know, come down Saturday, April 2nd at the Metal Lawns (laughs) Expo Center. (laughs) Right. I think it's uh, in East Rutherford, New Jersey. If I'm not correct, it's a caucus. I'm not, is it? <laughs> it's caucus. Uh, you know, here's the thing: no one's gonna make it there because listen, listen to the directions you're giving our fans, man. So far, you're not, I, you know, I have everybody on somebody's right. lawn in in mm-hmm. yeah, you know, in in, in East in, in, in Rutherford, in, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So as far as directions are concerned, just listen to what Anthony says. Let me handle it. Yeah. Okay. Just let me handle it. Since it's a caucus, guys. It's a caucus. It's a caucus. It 355 lands. Plaza Drive, Meadow Lands Expo Center. It's a caucus, New Jersey. Bingo. 07094. <laughs> yeah, I even come at him with the zip. Yeah. Like Anthony said, too, we don't have to go there and work. Yeah. yeah you know, I'm it's excited gonna be, about that. This yeah. Time. It's going to be fun for us. Like, you know, not that it's not fun for us. We love working and, you know, we love covering everybody, but it's like, you know, we're always like asking people about themselves and, you know, we're going to get a chance to kind of just be ourselves. So I'm really excited about that. Yeah. It's a lot of work when you go in with the plan of, you know, like we usually have like scheduled interviews, like that time we interviewed Sarah Carson, Chrissy Joy, and we would take the trip there with with that being the main goal of uh, we we have to build our whole experience there off of, of an interview and making time for somebody, and it's not we'll do it anytime, especially with people. Like Sarah Carson was an absolute sweetheart, and Chrissy Joy is one of our good friends. She's amazing, so we're 
more than willing to always like work around their schedules. But this time it's cool because it's going to kind of have a different vibe about it where we are like, we're free to just kind of like wander if they, if they let us in. <laughs> and uh, if not, remember guys, parking lot, Roby. <laughs> they let like, us uh, in. yeah, but it's, it's just going to be, yeah, if they let us in, depends. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, that's going to be different now because now we get to kind of just walk around and hang out with you guys. And Amy has a big following. We have a big following. Jess Adorno has an incredible following. I don't know, had like a hundred thousand, over a hundred thousand followers on Instagram. Wow. Um, you know, she, yeah, she's been on HBO Max. Um, like she's nice. just, she's making huge ways. She's a big ambassador for our industry as a whole. So to be able to mingle with her fans and Amy's fans, and we got to collab with them even further than that. I'd love to have them both at the shop. Jess Adorno has the mobile grooming. So, and I don't think she's far. I think she's in New York or Connecticut. Okay. She's close. So I'm sure. Yeah. She's, she's not far. Neither is Amy. Amy's only a couple hours away. It's going to be great to hang out with Amy in person. Some of any of you guys who listen to our show, we had Amy on last episode. I believe it was last episode. Um, and, uh, Amy's the best. She is just, uh, she's another great ambassador for our business. And, uh, She's a damn good time. Oh yeah, she's so much fun. Her personality is just uh, so much fun. She's got that great personality and um, real people person. And um, you know, again, we're really excited about it. And uh, you know, we're gonna try to come prepared too. Like you know, we you know, I'm kind of nervous. Like we do have to do some stuff. Like you know, Anthony, you you got to brush your teeth. I gained so much weight over the winter. So like now, I used to be thin and bald. Now I'm fat and bald. So you know, I got. <laughs> You know, I'm fat and bald and I ordered a guitar online. So that just shows you how my life is going. Like I'm bored with myself at this point that I am. So I I, got my guitar too. Yeah. You've played it once. You've had it for three weeks. Eh, More like three times. I'm like a once a weeker. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. One of my friends came over the other day and they were like, oh, dude, nice guitar. I go, thanks, man. I just got it. They go, you play. I go, nope. (laughs) (laughs) Nope. Nope. Because the thing, you know what? Guitars just look cool. They're just cool. Yeah. You know, just have one. Yeah. Just hanging on a wall. Mm-hmm. You know, our sure. producer, Mark, is a musician. He plays that. He plays keyboards. He plays guitar, you know, but uh, we don't play. I, you know, I play. I, da- I dabble. I dabble. Well, if Mark heard me play, <laughs> that we probably will have done our last episode of Groomer Humor on Pet Life <laughs> Radio. Because <laughs> right. he'd probably be that disappointed, not mad. It, it's like it more like when you get in trouble as a kid and your parents are just disappointed in you. Mark would go, "Oh, wow, I don't know you guys anymore." Right, you know, exactly. Just, you know. Mark would say, "Give me the guitar. That's mine yeah. now. Yeah, I keep it now. Yeah, I'm going to do you the you're favor. off the show. Right, I'm going to do you the favor and just take it away from you because you right. don't deserve don't, to hold this instrument. It. Yeah, you know." <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, g- g- give me, give me your harmonica too. You're not playing anything. You're just not musically yeah. inclined at all. <laughs> you know, you know, what's funny too, is not only do I have a guitar, I have a bass guitar. So mm. my neighbor uh, also, he's a, a really good guitarist. So he came over, he didn't know I had a bass guitar. So <laughs> he's the one who came over and said, oh, wow, nice guitar. You play guitar. I said, no. And then uh, he goes, <laughs> oh, oh, I see. Oh, you got a bass guitar. So you play bass. I go, nope. <laughs> So about six hundred, eight hundred dollars worth of equipment there for show. Yeah, exactly. I own well now that I order guitars, I own four guitars and I, I know about maybe four chords. So I just pick up each guitar and just strum a chord and just put them down and I look at them. Mm. Yeah. So, you got a couple colors. They're nice. You know, it's wishful thinking. But anyway, I don't just, know what guitars just, uh, have to do. Yeah, just um no, yeah, they don't. That's what I was going to say. Just to remind you all, this is a dog grooming show. <laughs> um, just in case you forgot or you think you turned on the wrong thing. No, this is groomer humor. Yeah. Um, this is how we do things here. Uh, yeah. We talk about me not taking care of myself and guitar purchases. We talk about whatever we want. That's what we talk about. Yeah. You know, and it's, right. you know, well, I, think it's that, a, I think that they like that. Sometimes it gets personal, you know? Yeah. You know, we had this discussion with Mark before the show. You know, he said, you know, we, we take things personally. We're sensitive. We're sensitive guys yeah. from New Jersey. You know, we're probably the only two sensitive guys <laughs> from New Jersey. Exactly. That's, you know, that's why we get beat up all the time, you know? Yeah. But <laughs> getting back to it, though, 
you know, we want to come prepared. You know, we want to see you guys. I'm going to try to lose a pound or two. Anthony's going to brush his teeth. I'm going to do my best yeah. comb over on my head. So we want to look presentable, you know, <laughs> 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 try to do the best comb over I can. Yeah. My weight is going to be whatever it is now, uh, you know, plus about five because I'm, I can't really, I'm too lazy to, to, to mess with the weight thing now. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'll brush my teeth though. Yeah. It's this way. Yeah, exactly. Cause we're going to be talking to people too. You know, you don't want to have like, you know, dumpster breath. Yeah. You know what I mean? Right. So that's a good point. Yeah. You know, we're going to, uh, we, we mentioned, you know, we're just doing more videos too on our channel. So please check us out on YouTube because we're posting once a week now and, uh, we're excited about that. Just a lot of good things happening. That's all there is. It's it's all good stuff. Yeah. You know, we're not depressed, even though we may seem it. You you know. <laughs> no, actually, I'm really happy today. I know it, it doesn't sound like it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But, um. You know, clocks went forward. Uh. You know, it yeah. doesn't get dark at noon anymore. Mm -hmm. Uh. That's always fun. You know, normal time. I hate it. I hate daylight savings time. It accomplishes nothing. And even <laughs> if it does, uh, you're wrong. I disagree. I think it has something to do with farmers or something. I don't know. I don't care. I think it's a horrible idea. Most yeah. people aren't farmers. So I think it would make more sense to just have the farmers get turn up back. earlier and mess up their day. <laughs> yeah. Why well, well, turn turn they, back your clocks? Yeah. Stop get bothering up like the three. rest of us with it. Right. So I think that just the farmers should get up at two and then three again. Uh, and ha when they're just when their bodies start adjusting to it and leave the rest of us alone, because again, most of us aren't farmers. I'm a dog groomer and, um, I'm sorry. I get very, I get very emotional about, about daylight <laughs> savings time. We're, I, we're I, a dog I, groomer. I, I despise it. Yeah. We're yeah dog I'm, a, I'm a dog groomer and a we guitarist like, apparently. Right. We get up at like, at least like nine. Mm-hmm. I assume this has something to do with farmers because Arizona doesn't do this stupid crap. Oh, they don't. And no, oh. they don't have daylight savings time. And I'm assuming oh. because it's it, it's the driest place on earth, nothing mm. grows there. So mm. I'm assuming that daylight savings has something to do with farming. And uh, you know what? And shout out to Arizona for 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 fighting the power on that and yeah. saying um. No, turning back the clock, messing with the clocks once a year just doesn't do anything. So we're, we, you guys do that and we're going to stick with whatever the hell it is. Desert time, whatever they have, or mountain time. I don't, I don't know. Messing with the clocks just makes people sad. Yeah. That's, and, that's all it does. It right. makes people sad. Right. You know, you know, the best part about daylight savings time, the best part about the clocks going back and it getting dark really really early is that it ends at some <laughs> point and it goes back to the way it was and nothing has changed now right it's stupid it's <laughs> dumb okay well you, you know they, they were talking about this so, no i'm not done they oh, were sorry. talking about this on the radio <laughs> on the radio <laughs> recently where people have started to say why is there even time differences in the entire world like okay i know that right now in italy whatever it's 1:30 in the morning okay but why can't 1:30 in the morning just be still be 1:30 in the morning over there it just it's just yeah that's what 1:30 a.m. it should still be 1:39 p.m. for everyone right now it just looks different in different areas of the world i don't know i don't know i'm tired of it okay you know what we're gonna start a new youtube channel and we're gonna be calling it anthony's philosophy because quick reminder this is a dog grooming podcast so yes, yes. Uh, once again just a quick reminder we are talking about dog grooming at some point but you know anthony's <laughs> philosophies <laughs> you know are are amazing you know but <laughs> you have to you know and this is, you know, this is coming from, you know, Anthony's uh, insight, you know, like you're really, you're really putting your all into this one. And like, this is deep. I have I don't to talk like daylight to you. savings. I have to talk to you after yeah. the podcast. Like we, we you and me need I'm to upset. talk. I, yeah, yeah, like I'm upset. Yeah. I'm upset now. Yeah. I'm seeing a lot more underlying issues here though, than just the daylight <laughs> savings time thing. Uh, so <laughs> we got to talk over a SIG. I think uh, I think I'm traumatized because I tried to plant something when I was a little kid and it didn't grow. <laughs> so when it when it comes to farming and stuff, uh, I, I get a little worked up. And did I traumatize you at all as your dad? No, a couple no. of times. I mean, you showed me Amityville Horror a little early. Other than that, everything was fine. <laughs> You're right, you, were, you know, and I got more scared than you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, right. Yeah. 
anyway. We should go to break. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. Listen, this is what this is what we're gonna do. I promise you guys, we're gonna go to break. But I promise you, we will talk a little bit about dog grooming <laughs> when we come back. And uh, you know, hopefully, Anthony doesn't go into another ten minute rant. But we will uh, talk about dog grooming when we come back after this message. Molly, here's your dinner. <laughs> Zeus, that's not your food. Don't let that happen to your precious cat. Elevate your cat's eating experience with the Cat Tree Tray. The Cat Tree Tray keeps your cat's food off the floor and conveniently located on the cat tree. It's the perfect way to eat. It's a beautiful wrought iron tray that easily attaches to your cat tree and keeps dogs and other critters out of your cat's dish. A must for multi-pet households. There's a 6-inch tray for large bowls and a 4-inch tray for smaller bowls. Purchase your Cat Tree Tray today. Go right now to CatTreeTray.com. That's CatTreeTray.com. C-A-T-T-R-E-E-T-R-A-Y.com. Let's talk pets. Let's talk pets. On Pet Life Radio. Pet Life Radio. PetLifeRadio.com. <laughs> Welcome back to Groomer Humor on Pet Life Radio. We are your hosts as always. I'm Anthony Ray, hanging out with my dad, Rudy V. And today we are covering all things not dog grooming or related. We covered a lot about guitars and daylight savings time. But one thing that we do have coming up, which we're very excited about, is Saturday, April 2nd. We are going to be at the Meadowlands Expo Center, hanging out with our good friends Amy Lee from YouTube's Go Groomer. You guys might remember her from last week's episode. And Jessica Adorno from, what is she not from? Paparazzi Pets on Instagram. She's been on HBO Max's Hot Dog. I think I'm saying that right. Um, We're going to be, yeah, we're going to be doing a really fun meet and greet with all of you guys, all of their fans. I'm just going to be kind of mingling and walking around the show. Intergroom, yeah, April 2nd on Saturday at the Meadowlands, not the Metal Lawns Expo Center. So, yeah, we're very excited about that. And so far, that's the only thing grooming related that we have for you today. Uh, okay. Well, we, you know, we started off by saying, you know, that uh, pet owners are grooming their own pets at home. So, real quick, I'm just going to give you a couple of pointers on that. What you want to do if you are going to groom your pet at home is you definitely want to get yourself a decent pair of clippers. So a lot of times what happens is people will get the real cheap guys, right? And those things don't work well. So this is how you know what a better pair of clipper is. So it goes by like, it's called SPM, but it's just another term for RPM, like revolutions per minute of how fast the motor makes that blade go. So you shouldn't get anything less than 3,400 meaning literally that blade's moving back and forth 3,400 times per minute. So that's a more powerful clipper. So for pet use, that would be good. We recommend the Andes 2-speed on that. It's a black clipper. It ranges, it's got two speeds. So it ranges from 2,700 to 3,400 SPN. Basically, again, what I mean by that is the RPMs. If you want to graduate to an even more powerful clipper, you have the Andes 5-speed, which goes ranges from 25. SPM to 4,500. So that's a more powerful clipper. And you want to start there, guys. Without a good, powerful clipper, you're not going to get much grooming done at all. So clipper is where it starts. Uh, You want a powerful clipper that's going to get through a coat, a, a dirty coat, a matted coat, and you want a good... These clippers usually come with a blade. They'll come with a ceramic 10 blade usually, or, or a regular 10 blade, which is uh, the most common, commonly used blade. So it starts with the clipper. You want yourself a clipper. You want some blade attachments. Again, look at Andis. You can go on Amazon. Andis has some great products. Wall has some great products. And just do your research. But again, the uh, more powerful clipper is going to make you a better groomer. You want to get a good slicker brush. Again, there's just an array of slicker brushes that you can get. You don't want anything too, too curved because then it'll just pull the coat. But you want a, a nice, soft, bristled, curved uh, slicker brush. And uh, you know, depending on the breed of dog, you might want to get yourself a rake, a good comb, a good pair of shears. Guys, really, if you guys want a good affordable shear, check out Amy Lee's shear uh, from Kenshi. She's got a great 
scissor that uh, she just put out recently and just launched. So check out her shear. What is it? The sapphire, right? It's, yeah. Yes, the sapphire shear. Yeah. So check that out. Yeah, it's a Kenchi shear. Yeah. Basic tools. We just put out a video on a grooming table. So if you guys want to get more professional, have the job be even a little bit easier, go to our channel. We just put out a video on how important grooming tables are. You can get a portable grooming table with an arm for under a hundred bucks. Is it an investment? Sure it is. You could look to put out about 200 to $350 in that investment, but you're going to be able to groom your dog at home, especially by following our YouTube channel and uh, getting some pointers on what to do and what not to do. Uh, we have a good video coming out soon this week about some of the hot spots where our dogs are most commonly nicked. So it's a big safety video. So check that video out so you guys are working safely. Yeah, don't make the mistake, guys, of of not having some basic tools at your house and thinking that you're going to accomplish much while grooming your dog, especially the grooming table. I think that goes very forgotten. People think that, you know, oh, I'll get a brush and a pair of clippers and we'll, you know, we'll just kneel down on the floor. Uh, your dog's not going to really let you accomplish a whole lot like that. You get a grooming table. That's a really, really important tool. They sell portable ones. They're not that expensive. And that now, if you do get your hands on a decent pair of clippers and a brush, especially brush is probably the, the most important tool that you could have at home. But now if you have a portable grooming table and you could get your dog elevated, get them on the news, be very careful, never leave them alone like that because they will fall off the table. But now at least you have a better chance of accomplishing some sort of mid-level groom where it, even if you're still getting your dog professionally groomed, you're just making it that much easier on your groomer, better on your dog, less on them to have to deal with. So yeah, like portable grooming table is really, really important. You're not going to chase your dog around your house and get anything done. Believe me. Yeah. Definitely. Good point. Good point. But check out the video because we talked more about it there. And, uh, you know, definitely, uh, you know, keep grooming, keep grooming your dogs at home. It's so important. Even if you got a grooming table and all you had was a brush and you just brushed your dog two, three times a week, that right there is going to, you'll be doing, you know, about 90% more than a lot of people do because some people just don't even groom their dog at all. And that's when you get the whole neglect thing. That's when you get dogs coming in severely matted. And that's what we're trying to like avoid. If you are the pet owner, the dog owner out there that doesn't get your dog groomed but once a year and you don't take a brush to it at all and you own a shih tzu or a poodle or something like that you're doing your dog a great disservice and groomers do not want to be bothered with that groomers are getting more and more picky too if, if a dog comes in that's too severely matted i don't want to do that dog honestly because i don't want to risk it you know i don't want to nick the dog i don't want to clipper burn the dog so it's important that you groom at home and if you're not grooming your dog at home doing something okay, it's a good time to start. There's just way too much information out there. There's way too many products out there that are just being taught and being given to everyone now. It's not just exclusive to the dog grooming industry like anything else. If you're not doing the whole yeah. grooming, just do something because you'd be doing a, you know, a great justice to your dog. Thank you so much for stopping by, guys. As always, we'd like to thank our producer, Mark Winter. Thank you so much, Mark, for putting up with us. If you haven't already, head on over to our YouTube channel. It's called Grooming by Rudy. That's Grooming by Rudy on YouTube. YouTube.com. Leave a comment, like, share, and subscribe. We want to hear from you guys. You could also like Grooming by Rudy on Facebook. Follow Grooming by Rudy on Instagram and Twitter. It has been an absolute pleasure as always. Until next time, take care of yourselves and your pets. Let's Talk Pets. Every week on demand. Only on PetLifeRadio.com. <laughs>